Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. So in this video, I'll be talking about types of cell signalings. Now, when cell wants to communicate with another cell, the cell releases certain kind of signaling molecules and based on the distance traveled by these signaling molecules, there are different four types of cell signalings. So let's talk about it. First type is endocrine signaling so first type is endocrine signaling right in endocrine signaling the signaling molecules are released by the cell which acts on a target cell which are located at long distance so target cell usually located at long distance and endocrine signaling the signaling molecules are called hormones so signaling molecules are called hormones right so let's see the diagram of endocrine signaling so this is endocrine cell releasing the hormone into the blood stream so signaling molecules are released into blood stream and it reaches these molecules reach the target cells which are located at long distance so let's suppose these are target cells and of course these cells are having receptors right so these cells are having receptors and when these signaling molecules called hormones when these signaling molecules bind to the receptors they trigger the action right so this is the diagram of endocrine signaling now next type is paracrine signaling so second type is paracrine signaling and in this signaling type the signaling molecules released into extracellular space x locally or on nearby target cell so signaling molecules x locally or on nearby target cells right and the example of paracrine signaling is transmission of nerve impulse between synapse right so transmission of nerve impulse from one nerve cell to another nerve cell it is example of paracrine signaling now let's see the diagram of paracrine signaling so when one nerve cell wants to communicate with another nerve cell right so one nerve cell is not in contact with another nerve cell that is some gap this physical gap is known as synapse and the signaling between these two nerve cells are called paracrine signaling so there are receptors present on another nerve cell and this nerve cell has vesicles containing acetylcholine so acetylcholine acts as signaling molecule and this acetylcholine released into the synapse and it binds on the receptors on another nerve cell and by this mechanism the nerve impulse is transmit right so it is called paracrine signaling third type is autocrine signaling so third type is autocrine signaling so what 
Oto itself suggests that the signaling molecules released by the cell, these signaling molecules act on the same cell which has released the molecules, right? So these signaling molecules acts on same cell which has released the molecule and example of autocrine signaling is cultured cell then tumor cell and immune cell so cultured cell releases certain kind of signaling molecule that acts on the same cell and triggers the growth tumor cell does not need any kind of external growth factor or growth hormone so tumor cell releases certain kind of signaling molecules which acts on the same tumor cell and the proliferation of or the growth of tumor cell is there through these autocrine signaling and let's see the diagram of immune cell which is having autocrine kind of signaling so let's see the diagram so this is T lymphocyte and this T lymphocyte releases signaling molecules and these signaling molecules are called interleukin 2 right and of course this T lymphocyte is having receptors for interleukin 2 so these signaling molecules interleukin 2 released by T lymphocyte these molecules act on the same cell right it binds to the interleukin 2 receptors and it triggers proliferation of this T lymphocyte right so this is T lymphocyte so this is a kind of autocrine signaling right next and fourth type is juxtacrine signaling so the fourth type is juxtacrine signaling and this signaling is also known as this type of signaling is also known as contact dependent signaling so it is known as contact dependent signaling right in this type of cell signaling there are no release of cell signaling molecules so molecules are held on plasma membrane by the cell so this type of signaling is seen during immune response right and here the signaling molecules are not released into extracellular space now let's see the diagram of juxtacrine signaling so it occurs during immune response so when macrophage phagocytous bacteria and this bacterial antigen is presented on the plasma membrane of macrophage so this macrophage presenting the bacterial antigen and it is presented on T cell so this is T lymphocyte and it is presented on the receptors that is present on T cell so this is macrophage and this is T lymphocyte So during immune response during the processing and presentation of bacterial antigen to the T cell juxtacrine kind of cell signaling is there so that is called juxtacrine or contact dependent signaling because contact between two cell is needed in this kind of cell signaling right 
so that are four different types of cell signaling i hope this video is helpful if you are watching this video till here please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching